Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 18 in chapter 6. In this one, you can see we have a mass of m and it is a ring. And then it's located at zero. Uh, distance x uh, to the left, we have another object. The mass is a small m right there. And then we need to determine the gravitational force on this small mass m due to this ring. So how can we do that? First thing, we construct this reference system. This is x component, y component. And then on this ring, we consider the small fraction of it, dm, dm, the asymmetry, right? We just consider this is small fraction as an object. And this ring is just uh, uh, combined by multiple this dm to agree, yes. And then the next one, can you find the gravitational force by this dm? Sure. So this gravitational dm by f1 and f2, right? And then we can project this f1 and f2 on i component and j component. So first thing we look at this f1. So first the gravitational force is g. This mass dm times this mass is small m. And the distance square, distance is given. And then we need to project this force on the x component, this angle theta, so cosine theta, right? I and then look at J component, it provide project at the J component with negative sign, so negative sine theta. Similarly, we can get the DF, right? The force F2 is just as the cosine theta and also at the I component, project it as this uh, X component and then project it as the J component with the positive sine theta. Then the gravitational force for them is uh, clear. This uh, G constant times dm, small m, and then distance squared. And then we need to add them together, right? Add them together. So after you add them together, you can see j component is cancelled. You only have the x component, only has the i component. Agree? Now can you find the cosine theta? Sure, cosine theta is this side x divided by this distance. Agree? x divided by this distance squared a squared plus r squared. And then how can you solve this problem? Because we consider this dm is just a small fraction of this ring. Now we do the integral to find the total mass for this ring. We do integral at this side and this side, then this, this small fraction of m becomes a capital M. Agree? And then you this equation can be simplified as this one. And then after you do uh, integral, you are done. Thank you.